Polypeptide synthesis is the biological production of peptides, which are organic compounds made up of several amino acids connected together by peptide bonds. They're the fundamental components of proteins which are required for cell activity. Transcription and translation are the two main processes in this procedure. Transcription is the first step in gene expression. Transcription involves the replication of a gene's deoxyribose nucleic acid or DNA sequence into an RNA molecule. DNA helicase unzips the molecule of double-stranded DNA by breaking the hydrogen bonds between complementary nucleotides. In the DNA, RNA will substitute thymine for uracil. Once the DNA has been unzipped, a one-stranded RNA will be formed. Nucleotides will then match with one strand of RNA, creating messenger RNA, or mRNA. Nucleotides are made up of three parts, a phosphate group, a carbon sugar, and a nitrogenous base. A nucleotide is an organic molecule that is a building block of DNA and RNA. There are three parts to transcription. Initiation, which is when RNA polymerase binds to a sequence of DNA called a promoter. Elongation, when a strand of DNA acts as a template for RNA polymeration polymerase, and termination where se when sequences called terminators signal that the RNA transcript is complete. Once they're transcripted, the transcript is released from the RNA polymerase. mRNA provides information for the exact order of amino acids needed to, needed to create a polypeptide. Once the strand of RNA is formed, it then travels from the nucleus through the nuclear membrane where transcription occurs to the cytoplasm where translation occurs. This strand of mRNA provides the exact sequence of amino acids needed to produce a polypeptide. This strand of RNA will then attach to a ribosome, which will then subsequently attach to rRNA, or ribosomal RNA. In the cytoplasm, there are many tRNA, or transfer RNA molecules available that carry an amino acid, which is the monomer for a polypeptide. The ribosome in the mRNA reads bases three at a time, which are then called codons. These three unique bases will all code for a different amino acid. Then, one of the complementary anticodons found on the tRNA attached, are attached to the complementary nucleotides of the RNA. The end of the tRNA, tRNA carries the amino acid. This process will then continue, continue until there is a stop codon, which is not code for any amino acid. Amino acids carried by the tRNA link together through a polypeptide bond. tRNA and its anticodon will link, leaving the amino acid alone to connect with another amino acid. This process will continue until the stop codon is reached. And that is the end of polypeptide synthesis. We're now left with a polypeptide of phenylene, arginine, histidine and serine.